Welcome back to another reading and correcting with me, Kindar, the Tiger Rights, and Ty, the Tiger Supervisor. These are where I read a chapter from one of my stories and correct it as I go. <clears throat> if you want to listen to these live, it's every Tuesday morning, 8 a.m. Eastern Time on Twitch. If you want to support me, that is on my Patreon. Today we are doing Chapter 27 of The World Which Is. Everyone, Herbert calls as me and Sasha and our patrol at the front of our carts. Make sure your weapons are ready. He's scanning the tree lines, which feels closer to the road. We just left Quartz Civilization Range. That means we're completely in the wilderness now, Sasha explains. Right. Settlements lower the surrounding wilderness. Grandmother told us that multiple times, and Dad can go on and on about it, since it means just stepping into the forest is more dangerous than the fields lining it. But because leaving was never my plan, I never paid too much attention. Does it mean we will be attacked? It shouldn't, she replies in a tone that makes me think she doesn't believe it. How do you know we're completely in the wilderness? I ask Herbert, who's still scanning the trees. I'm not seeing any difference. It's a scout ability, he replies. And can you tell how likely we're, we are to be attacked? Well, we weren't on the way to court, he answers, as if that's enough. As if that's... Enough of an explanation. Go for your bow, he tells me. I'm more skilled with the sword, but that'll put you in the front line, and I'm sorry to say this, but you aren't skilled enough for it. We're not like the guards in court. We aren't trained to look after the nearest member, so you need to stay as far from the actual fighting as you can. Think of it this way, he, added, he adds as I'm about to protest. You're an archer, not a swordsman, for now. That mollifies me a little. Then he smiles, but don't worry about it. This will probably be an uneventful trip. It'd be easier to believe him if the rest of the team, as well as the drivers, weren't all on edge. Sasha taps my shoulder and we go back to our patrol. She's silent for all of it, eyes on the trees, staff in hand. Alan is going on about how she grew up, her plan, how, about how, when she grew up, her plan was to be an acrobat, travel with carnivals while there were audience, and in the dark of the night, sneak into houses and liberate valuable items. But it wasn't to be, she has, with a theater theatrical sigh. The system had a, call, had a calling for me that involved interacting with people more directly. Her class was messenger. I didn't have to ask. She volunteered the information. It wasn't the only thing she volunteered. I get how. I get now why she's the one handling most of the communication with the drivers and the other groups. System, does she like to talk? Then she falls silent. Equip your bow, she whispers, scanning the tree, and pick up the pace. We need to reach the others. I equip it and get an arrow ready, trying to see what she picked up as we are ready to the others. They are on alert, too, even as the cart as the carts starts slowing, which seems like the wrong thing to do. If everyone expects a problem, shouldn't they go faster to leave the area as quickly as possible? Don't you just hate the quiet? Evel Evelyn's whispers. I'm about to ask what she means. There are plenty of sounds around us. When I realize those only come from the carts, the forest has fallen utterly silent. This isn't normal, is it? I whisper, and she shakes her head. Max, Herbert says, stay with Dennis. I don't need... You're going to need arrows, Max said. Whatever's coming is going to take longer than those 12 in your quiver. Don't they always? I ask. It's why we're going. you're going to want to buy them in bulk and get a larger quiver. Two train is the minimum you want when you get on your own. We're silent as we walk beside a traveling cart. A crawl, the crawling cart. I imagine I can feel the coming attack that any minute there's going to be a system message announcing the start of the battle. Instead, is the sound of trees crashing down that announces it. It's too loud to, only, to be only one, even at la as large 
as trees have to get deeper in the forest. That's side size. A train. We're dealing with strogers again. That's not a bet, Church's reply, since they're what's always in this area. You think there would be less of them at this point, considering how many we have to kill each time. More trees come crashing down. This time, I can see those in the front shudder in reaction. That's true only if the system isn't making them reproduce faster, Ellen says, which we all know it does. The wilder the plays, the faster it happens. Drivers, take cover. Max grabs and grabs grabs and pulls me to the front of the next cart as more trees crash down. I can feel it in the ground now. He hooks his quiver so it hangs at hip height and he points to the left of it. Stand there and take your time. The others will push them back when they break through the, the tree line. What you want is to max out your accuracy, he grins. Get ready for a solid boost in your skill. This isn't going to be fast. Uh, about accuracy, what's the max I can take it to? Technically, there is no maximum. Each second you take boosts it, but you want to shoot those bastards before they get through your through my friends. So five or five to six seconds is what I'd advise. Even at your skill and attributes, it's going to make to, to make each shot count. I nod, and trees fall into the front. In, uh, into the front into the front one bringing those down with them behind is a long stretch of down trees broken low and beings monsters stogers stoger level two stogers are a large creature evolved from docile or earth elemental into being with a vicious hatred for anything not made of the same material as them perception check failed the one I'm looking at is maybe half my height, but nearly as broad, and it looks to be made of stone. There are a lot of them, but also a lot of larger ones. Stoger level 5. Stogers are large creatures evolved from, do do from docile earth elementals into being with a vicious hatred for anything not made of the same material. Perception check failed. And... Four, fa Stoger, level 23. Stogers are a large creature. Are large creatures evolved from the docile earth elemental into being with a vicious hatred for anything not made of the same material as them. Perception check failed. Giant one at the back. Shoot! Max orders, loosing arrows, and I take one from the quiver and aim. Even with that, my first three... My first three miss. Well, the Stoger I was aiming for... Uh, okay, uh, misses, miss. Miss, well, the stoker, miss, the first three miss, well, the stoker I was aiming for. There are so many of them, even those hit, even those hits something. My fourth one hits my intended target, then motion, motion out the corner of my eye makes me look. Chuck is running along the cart, a metal staff in hand, silver at his side. Instead of the harness or the jacket and jeans I've, se I've seen him in, the leather armor is covered with metal plates. He stops halfway between us and the fighting, then looks over his shoulder in our direction. Get ready, I'm bringing one to you. Max curses, and as I open my mouth to ask what, Chuck's gone. In his place, a larger Stoger stands there, seemingly confused. Stoger, level 8. Stoger's <clears throat> Our large creatures evolve from docile earth elemental into being with beings with a vicious hatred for anything not made of the same material. The same material as same material as them. Perception check failed. In the distance there's a boom that shakes the ground. Take it down! Max yells as it turns toward the front line. I miss two shot in my hurry to fire. I take a breath and take the time to aim. Daz has turned to face it, and other guards are reaching the fighting. I fire and hit. It doesn't react, and I miss three shots because it's all it took to annoy me. I take another breath, aim, and fight against being annoyed as I miss again. The next one hits, and my elation makes me miss the following shot. Two, ju two guards join Daz, and I put and I put him, them, and my missus out of my mind. I try to anyway. 
and focus on taking an arrow, knocking it, aiming, and letting go. At first, in the Stoger, Daz is fighting, then any I see in the front line. This is like the monster wave in court, grandmother drilled into our head, that those weren't about being the one with the most kills or the most anything. It's about, it is, it's about playing our part so as many people survive as possible. When the cry sounds, it takes two shots to register. Both hit their target. The glancing, when I realize it's someone, that scream is reflexive. Then I move without thinking, sending my bow to my inventory, equipping my sword and running at the Stoger who, who overturned the wagon. Stoger, level four. Stogers are large creatures evolved from, do, do, from docile earth elemental into being with a vicious hatred for anything not made of the same material as them. Perception check failed. This is going to suck. I slash at its back and it, as it grabs a woman. The tip of my sword bites and leaves a line that oozes something gray and misty. It roars and drops her to backhand me. Yep, it sucks. I land on my back, a quarter of my health and gone, and the stun debuff nice and orange. It's going to be there for a while if I don't do something while the stoker lumbers in my direction. I will it away, and instead of a failed check I've grown used to, half my willpower vanishes along with the debuff. I'm on my feet, then wince. The lack of a debuff doesn't mean the pain isn't there. I attack while the wagon occupant gets away, and I get my ass handed to me. I knew this was going to suck. The hits that connect pretty much my hits. My hits that connect pretty much all slide off its rocky hide. I avoid its first two punches. The third is a glancing blow that takes off an eighth of my health. The fourth is solid and brings my health down under a fifth. It comes with a dazed debuff. Can't focus enough to will it away, so I am watching three of it walk in my direction, only now noticing the arrows that pepper it. Well, this is it for someone is before me. There are flashes of a sword, then just flashes as someone else joins in. Then there's four and the stoger falls. I'm able to focus when Daz crouches next to me. That was stupid. Herb told you to stay with Max and shoot arrows. They were in danger, I replied. Getting yourself killed isn't the smart thing to do. They were in danger, I reply, my tone sharper. He stops looking at me over he stops looking me over and to stare. Do you have any idea how lucky you are? I noticed the giant that giant drop in your health. I was kind of busy myself. They yeah, I got it the first two times. He looks up. Anyone has healing magic? Our healer's busy with the injured in the at the front. Down! Someone yells, and I bite off the scream as I reflexively unch in on myself. Something big flies over us and crashes into trees on the other side of the road. I look in the direction it came from, and I'm not entirely sure I believe what I'm seeing. Chuck, fighting another one of those giant stoger, his armor's gone, and when he blocks the fist coming down on him with the staff, he sinks into the ground a little only to then straighten, swing, and knock the thing off its feet as the staff connects under its large shin. When it falls, the ground shakes. Chuck looks around, and he looks pissed. When he walks toward, then he walks toward the fighting. I think it's about to end, someone says. What about the other two giant? I ask. Baz snorts. He killed... Oh, this is dialogue. Daz snort. He killed those two getting back here. Someone offers me a lavish plate of food. It's going to boost your healing. He helps me sit up and offers me a fork. I eat. I'm not going to pass up on healing help if in the state I'm in. As I finish, the tab for my combat la log flashes a lot. It's over, Daz says. You have gained a level. You are now level three. And that concludes chapter 27 of The World Which Is. If you are enjoying this, please leave a like. If you want to know when the next chapter is going to be up, subscribe and hit the bell. If you want to read the story, it is up for on Royal Road for free. If you want to read ahead of that and support me in the process, that is on my Patreon. 
if you want to listen to these live it's every tuesday morning 8 a.m eastern time on twitch the links are in the note and with that i shall wish you a good day